The Nigerian Airspace Management Agency has given the assurance that it will sustain the zero accident recorded by Nigeria commercial aviation industry in 2017. The managing director of NAMA says the agency has made great contribution to air safety and he is determined not to relent on his oars. NAMA says it will improve communication between pilots and the control towers so that the airspace can remain safe. We are getting spares to maintain the system and um, government also um, approved the installation of um, the multilateration um, or the installation of multilateral equipment in the southeast corridor such that we'll be able to capture low flying um, objects, be able to provide them guidance. I don't believe that any system can be perfect. So there is a need for us to continue to look at these things and improve on them. Young men and women, all of them Nigerians, able-bodied, strong, agile, athletic, least judging by their look. They are just arriving home after their tortoise journey, all in search of the pasture that is supposedly green. And to get that, they've had to put their lives on the line, daring the world's largest hot Sahara desert and would have dared the world's most dangerous sea crossing, the Mediterranean, but were intercepted by an unfriendly host. It's a very, it's, it's hell. Because you cannot move the streets. You cannot move on the streets anyhow. When, whenever you are moving on the streets, you know, you're always scared. Maybe you can see people carrying guns all around. Before you know what's happening, maybe you find yourself in the prison. From there, they started maltreating you very bad and other things like beating. If care is not taken, they can force you, force you to do some forced labor something that you don't even want to do or something like that. There is no place like home. You know, I'm very, very happy that I'm back in Nigeria. This is not the first time such sad tale is told by these youths who see Europe as the best alternative to the economic challenges the country faces. In fact, it is like the anthem since the federal government partners the International Organization for Migration, IOM, to bring the youth back home having faced tough times in the conduct country of Libya. When they ask you to go to Libya, you're going to meet two things. Disappointment and delay. Wasted years, wasted time, and so on and so forth. They might give you some good advice like we are going to Italy or something else, but they are going to what we call forceful prostitution. So my advice to youth is stay home and make the best of it. Try to get your hand on something. Get a career. Even if it's a self-entrepreneurship, get something to do. You make it better than going, taking all the risk. Sometimes going to Italy is a do or die affair. We have been there and we see how many people we lost in the sea. No matter how long it takes to bring them back, government has given its word to bring the last person back home. And besides just bringing them back, the government has plans to show them that home is not like it was when they left. We have a 152 returnees, consisting of 75 female and 77 male. A lot of initiatives that have been put in place uh, by the federal and state governments. Uh, the federal government under the office of the uh, SDA to the President on Statutory Development Goals, SDG, and the uh, office of the President on that parameters have uh, put in place a measure in such a way that they can get in touch with the attorneys for training and retraining program. Uh, this time around, the emphasis is not only on return, but also on reintegration, to make sure they don't go back there. And uh, uh, those schemes are working. A lot of government, state governments are also 
uh, putting in place agricultural programs. Those are cook means for the youth in Edo State. There are a total of 152 returnees this time. They are happy to have returned in one piece. And so from their first-hand experience, they want other youths to think twice before taking the wilderness journey to Europe, saying it's not an easy one. On the foreign scene, 10 people have been reported killed after a small plane crashed into a house north of the Philippine capital. According to the Civil Aviation Authority of Philippines, the Piper 23 Apache single-engine aircraft operated by Light Air Express took off from a small airport. The aircraft was carrying five people, including the pilot, and was en route to Laoang in northwestern Luzon. All plane occupants died in the accident with collateral damage to a house with five occupants who also passed away. CAP has ordered all aircraft operated by Light Air Express to be grounded pending the results of investigations. Sam Umbaque International Airport in Imo State and Margaret Ekpo International Airport in Cross River State is our next destination.